been in Africa for many, many years. Uh, in the southern part of Africa, we've been there for decades. And of course, in recent time, uh, we've made it our, our mission to make sure we work in East Africa for obvious reasons. What we do is we train management accountants who are capable business leaders to co-create value and preserve it. Could you uh, walk us through the main components of the trainings you provide and right. why exactly do people need such trainings? Very, very good question and thank you for asking that. So, you remember I talked about the history of this country. So I look at the growth pattern. I look at where the society was and where the society is. Of course, Africa is always kind of left behind. Africa is always at the back of the pack. Uh, our economies are always classified as emerging or poor economies. And of course, in such an environment, what you do need is capable people of uplifting economies and the society. By doing what? By running businesses. So we are really serious about training people, equipping them with capability to A, formulate business policies and strategies, B, which will lead the healthiness of the business, and C, co-create and preserve value. For me, that speaks to the well-being of economies. So why do people need this training? It's simply because it is a way of life. Right. Management accounting is a way of life. It talks about accounting beyond the numbers. It talks about, yes, you don't grow, you don't create value just by producing numbers, but you create or co-create value and preserve it by A, producing numbers, but knowing what to do with those numbers. How do you grow a business? How do you keep it sustainable? So it, it is something that we don't even have to debate about. It is a way of living because African economies, Rwanda need management accountant in order to continue with the growth that has, happened, has been happening in years but equally preserve what has been already produced. And you want it within all sectors of economy. So when we talk about accounting and finance, we're not talking only about people who work in the finance department. We're talking about anybody who interact with numbers, decision making, planning, budgeting. These people, you want them well equipped to really preserve the beauty of this nation and continent. Insightful. So uh, once these people in the financial profession are empowered, equipped with the right skills. Right. Uh, you touched on it, but could you elaborate more on how exactly they can contribute th to or they can drive national economic growth? Thank you. So you would recall that Africa is always seen as a corrupt continent. And, 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 and that's how we label in many cases. And then you agree you, with that? Um, Yes, to some extent, you, I would agree. So whether it's called corruption or any other form of maladministration, uh, there is that gap within the society we live in where sometimes we have people within the government or uh, public sector who are not properly equipped to run businesses. As a result, there are wrong spending, financial maladministration, bad uh, budgeting and planning. Uh, generally, in many African countries, people return budget, unspent budget. And, and when you, you try and analyze, but why, when we don't have all the infrastructure we need, we don't have the type of hospitals we need, we don't have the public schools and private schools we need, how do you return a budget when you haven't really delivered it? Then we realize that it has to do with an issue of capability. People sometimes just don't know how to plan around and how to deliver or how to spend for the right reasons. So for me, whether it's called corruption or maladministration, that's something we would like to depart from as African. So equipping these people means they'll do the right thing. So in our professional qualification, our global chartered management accountant are trained to be ethical accountant who operate with the voice of reasons. We don't do shady business. We don't do wrong business. We are ethical accountant here to serve the need of our communities, organizations, and societies. And for me, that inspires me, because imagine if uh, majority of the people of Rwanda in accounting and finance and running businesses become uh, CGMAs, which stand for Chartered Global Management Accountant. Then you know that stands for expertise, trust, you know, uh, people you can rely on. And for me, that builds economies, because you, we could go to bed knowing that our organizations are in safe hands, but at the moment, I can't really stand and say we are because we still have issues of maladministration and corruptions. Yeah. And that needs to stop in Africa. Yeah. 
yeah. if we are to grow. Okay. So could you share with us the main challenges facing education in this right. particular sector and probably lay out for us ways they could be overcome? Thank you. So the problem is uh, we've been taught to learn through the academic approach over the years. But the world is changing very, very fast. The speed of change is sometimes unmeasurable. So you cannot predict what will happen next. What we know is that technology has brought many, many risks, but as well as many opportunities. So there is a huge gap on how the way we did accounting and finance of the past is changing, right? We didn't have technology, we didn't have computers, we didn't have automation. The way even uh, stock exchanges trade is different. Back in the days, you had to do manual paperwork. Now people buy through uh, platforms, electronic platforms. So the speed is there. It's like the first mover advantage. All right. So that's, that's, that becomes very, very, very important. Now, because that brings all that gap, what we intend to do is to cover the gap by building capability and capacity. 